afternoon, good evening, good morning, and good night, depending on wherever you are, whenever you are, you listen to this video. Today we are going to actually do a little bit of an unboxing uh, of a couple of different things that I've gotten from folks in the community. These are items that I have paid for, uh, connecting to different folks in different places around the community. Actually going to start first with this box, because I know what's in here. And so over here, this is actually from JW's Coins and Hobbies. I'll flip his sticker around so you guys can see that. JW does an awesome live stream where he does half dollar coin hunts. And I actually bought some rolls the other day. And so we're going to get into this and see what is in this and what I got. Go ahead and cut her open here. Oh, that's right. So JW actually has a couple other, <laughs> another stream as well, uh, where he set some stickers along this time. I'm actually a really big fan of this sticker. I uh, actually even like it better than the Benji sticker. Uh, but this is from his JW Farms sticker uh, stream as well. So a couple things in here. Looks like I have some more opening to do. Uh, go ahead and crack this open real fast. Open these up, and yes, absolutely, it's a whole bunch of silver. So we'll go ahead and I will do each one of these under the scope so you can get an idea of what each one of these things are. But it looks like I have a 67 40% Kennedy, a 64 90% Kennedy, ooh, and I got three Benjis today, a 1953 Benji, a 1952 Benji, and a 1951 Benji. <clears throat> so definitely some good half dollars to get started. Got a silver quarter here, 1957, and a Merc dime. Looks like a 1943. Definitely I'll put these under the scope to make it easier for you guys to see. Uh, sorry about the light on this one. The scope will be better. And then one rosy dime from 53 as well. Lastly, let's crack this guy open and see what's in here. Definitely appreciate your understanding as I'm just getting started with this. Uh, not always the best right out of the gate. Holy cow. Uh, definitely will continue to get better. So feel free to leave your constructive criticisms in the chat. Wow, wow, wow. So this one, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully this shows up. That is a proof dime, silver proof. Looks like a 2004. That is gorgeous looking. And then we got a 1966. Really nice looking. 40% half dollar. Again, we'll put these under the scope. Look at each one of them individually. First up, we have the 1957 silver quarter out of Philadelphia. About 47 plus million of these minted. Not an amazing specimen, but uh, definitely a hole filler. Uh, just getting started with some of those quarters, so it's nice to have a, a nice one to start with. Now we're going to move on to half dollars. This one is a, a 1964. It's a 90% silver half dollar. Uh, again, of only about 277 million minted, quite a few minted. Not a great example, but now we move on to 67, and this is only a 40% half dollar. Again, not amazing condition, but fill some holes. And now lastly, this 1966 is beautiful. 40% silver, Kennedy half dollar. Obverse and the reverse are absolutely gorgeous. Very, very good looking coin here to add to the collection, that's for sure. Now we're moving on to those three Benjis. This is a 1953 Denver. Uh, again, a 90% half. A couple things about the Franklins, the Benjis, if you will. Um, you want to look for those full bell lines on that bell. Uh, these are pretty worn down, but again, these are hole fillers. Great to get started onto that 1952. Um, this one is also out of Denver. A good, another good looking half dollar for sure. And then lastly, we have the 1951. And now this 1951 is actually S minted half dollar. Um, so only about 13 million of these minted. Now just because as an S doesn't mean it's a proof. Um, this happens to be a business strike out of San Francisco. Um, but a nice looking coin for sure. And then my favorite by far is the Mercury Dime. This is a 1945. Very common Mercury Dime, but a nice looking dime. Roosevelt Dime. Again, nothing special, but it's a nice looking dime to get started. Now this is an amazing dime. It's a 2004 silver S proof. Beautiful, beautiful dime. 
And there you have it. Nice little silver pouch. Silver group of silver finds from JW Coins and Hobbies. Definitely check out his channel. Link to his channel is going to be down in the description. Thank you as always. Now it's on to item number two. All right. I actually know what is in this box. It is something that I purchased, something that I'm really excited to get open and get out of this box. This is from uh, another great guy in the coin community, goes by Ring and Constitutional. I will put his email address down in the description of this as well. If you would like to get one of these, you can do so. I'm going to go ahead and try to crack open this box nice and safe-like. We'll see how it goes. Got it pretty, pretty well packaged here. Always cut away from yourself, kids. Oh my goodness. Worst unboxing ever. See, I thought if I would have a really sharp knife, it'd be perfect. But my sharp knife isn't working. There's too much tape on this. But I know what's in here. I'm super excited to get it out. And I'm glad it is very well packaged. So here we go. Get some of this out of here. And oh, what do you know? A box within a box. Plunk. Awesome. All right. Box number two. And ooh, look at that. This looks very interesting. I'm actually going to be super careful because it looks like it is in a jewelry box. Indeed, and here we go. Boom, check that out. Holy cow, this is gorgeous. This is a Morgan Dollar 1921 that has been turned into a ring. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this under the scope so everybody can have a look, see at it. We can look at it really close. Um, very, very great craftsmanship here. Nice, solid ring. Fits really, really well. I'm really excited to wear this ring. Thanks, Ring and Constitutional. Appreciate your handy uh, handiwork. Uh, definitely awesome. Like I said, I'll put it on the scope. You can look at it. And uh, I'll show you the date, show you that's a 1921. So you can see here, uh, this is a Morgan dollar. Um, again, just some really beautiful craftsmanship here to work this into that ring shape. Um, nice polish on it. You see the top of the eagle's wings here of the coin. Um, now, Ringin will make coins into rings. He will do Morgans, Peace Dollars, Walkers. Does some really, really good work. We'll see here just a second in the 1921. Again, if you're interested in a coin... Check out for the email in his description or the description of this video. But there we go. A beautiful, beautiful ring made by Ring and Constitutional directly from a 1921 Morgan. That's all I have this time around. Definitely going to be getting some more content out at different times. Going to try some new stuff here and there. And I'll keep you posted. And all, as always, have an absolutely wonderful day.